I would say that you are extremely emotional. Do you it, consider yourself an emotional male? Not really. I would say I, I do a good job of, you know, controlling them. These two in Canada try to destroy us. Guess what happens? We became even stronger from that shit. I'm like, a yes, you can. Myron's hair piece. Is it good or bad? I can't tell. Stop being a bitch, man, because you have the fierce tenacity that no one can. <laughs> I'm a little sick. It's because men don't consider their like screaming anger as emotional, right? Like men who lose it don't consider it emotional. But when a girl shows a little bit of anger, she's unhinged. Today, so I might sound. Oh, abasaic. A little weird. <clears throat> Seems that Myron really wants to get physical with me. And Andrew Shaw. Kind of smexual. If you aren't aware, um, DJ Academics went on the Flagrant Podcast and. DJ Academics, I watch Shoals and I personally skip that podcast because I'm not a big fan of him. He's so negative, sh Academics. And Fresh and Fit was brought up where Andrew Schultz and the crew started clowning on him a little bit. And uh, Myra was not happy. Uh, Myra's been challenging a lot of people to boxing matches, including myself. I uh, somebody sent me this dying, clip. I'm getting in the I think Myron's been tagging everyone on Twitter to get people's attention because he needs like some views, right? Because they got demonetized. On the 2002, I'm going to the gym. I'm putting the gloves on. Beat the f shit out of you, man. Actually, That's what we're gonna do. I have his phone number. Call his ass on air. Can we call him? Call him. <clears throat> I'm calling. Wait, who are we calling? Watch him duck it, man. <laughs> gonna come pick up, bro. The hell no, you ain't gonna pick up. <laughs> oh, bad. I'm just calling, but I'm not picking up. Call again. Put the gloves uh, on. Back up what you gotta say with your fists. Discord says, wait, does Sneeko actually treat women badly or is he just a Zoomer? No, 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 red pill rhetoric. No, in his personal life, he absolutely treats, his, treats women awfully. So I'm not even like Sneeko's rhetoric is like part of his like just bubble. But what he does to women in private, I think is bullshit. And he does treat women badly. Um, so yeah, don't date Sneeko. Stay away from him. Don't date Steven. Stay away from him. Don't date Myron. Stay away from him. Don't date these men. Who mistreat you? Thank you. Coming to me. even even if they were gay, I'd be warning men not to involve themselves. Well, I guess Steven is kind of gay, so like, don't. Men and women stay away from Steven. Women stay away from Sneeko. Like, just don't date men who are gonna serial cheat on you, bros, or treat you emotionally bad, or lie to you. Man, the amount of cope that you guys get for Abba running away from his own fights, I don't know. Abba is a D and D player. He's a sweet anime watcher. You leave him alone. No preach. I've never met him in my life. We call him on air two times. We're no calling answer. this f on air. No, you you guys are a witness. I told I called Destiny. We called him directly. I don't even know Fresh had his number. Yeah. I tagged him on Twitter. Wait, is he trying to fight Destiny? I'm so confused. Who's he trying to fight? Bro, I, he's gonna duck it. You know what happened? You don't and you didn't answer like you. I, I don't have WhatsApp notifications on one and two. The funny thing is, at the time they were calling, I was at a birthday party. So here I am talking to ladies, and I guess these guys thought I'd be like, oh, I hope Fresh and Fit's calling. Let me find out. I was like, why, why, why would I leave a birthday party so I can answer a phone call from two dweebs? This shit's like over two years old. People so What? Do you think these men have higher than average testosterone? Who? Fresh and Fit? Who? Like, if it didn't happen at first, it's not going to happen now. Just move on. I guess Myron's been sharing the fact that he'd been training. <laughs> He's been posting on Twitter about how he's been training three times a week, ready for this boxing match. The, the time has passed. If you think I'm going to travel to Miami to go see friends and family, and then I'm going to take time out of that to go spend time with you, you are bugging. I feel like we're in a playground. You scared? Huh? You scared? You won't, you won't, you, 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 you scared? Sure, you a fucking gr Oh, Abba was at Destiny's birthday party and Fresh and Fit was calling them. Oh, he was at Destiny's birthday party. Okay, okay, now I'm connecting the bubbles. Okay, okay. Grown man out here using playground insults to like try to go to me into something I have zero interest in. It is corny for grown men who want to be leaders of other men to be out here yelling emotionally. <clears throat> Stop being a bitch, God. man. Screaming at people about how they want to fight. Leave the fighting to the fighters. All these like corny ass YouTubers and all these other people who mm -hmm. love to just talk about violence like it's nothing. It's corny. Mm -hmm. and you're just posturing to make other people think you look tough. Yeah. But the truth is, your business partner, or your former associate Ayunde, who showed up at your house, broke in, and has been finding you in the streets. What did you do when he wanted to fight you and beat, beat you up? When he said, let's get in the ring, boxing gloves. Blow her like, hey, stop playing. You lose your life, nigga. Come closer. I'm about to blow your shit back. <laughs> and the kept coming, bro. And then, and then luckily the cops were right there. Hey. So he, they was
Where are they now? I'm so confused. What is going on? Who showed up at your house broken and your business partner, or your former associate Ayunde, who showed up at your house broken and has been finding you in the streets. What did you do what? when he wanted to fight you and beat, beat you up? When he said, let's get in the ring, boxing gloves. He walked up out of there, bro. Immediately after mine, I was like, hey, Queen, watch out, bro. This is about to come up on us. Ran right here with the friends, come up. And mine pulled up the blower, like, hey, stop playing. You lose your life, nigga. Come close. I'm about to blow your shit back. And the kept coming, bro. And then luckily the cops was right there, so we had an extra witness. Yeah, facts. Yeah, facts. He was legit Right. That shit crazy, bro. And he tried to ask question on two different occasions. Really? Yes. Yes. That's what I'm trying to tell you, like, bro. Like in public? Yes. You don't want to get in the ring with even though he wants to get in a boxing ring with you no you pull out the blicky at that time what happened i thought you've been training why don't you take that fight it's because your ego couldn't handle the thought of you losing so you've done the calculation and you justify however you want but the truth is it's because you're a coward ain't that right see when i was talking on on, on, on stream yesterday right we're talking about the violence bring self-defense okay we are talking about the difference between being a violent person and then being somebody who chooses violence because of self-defense. It's valid and moral to defend yourself, especially when your life is being threatened in the moment. It is not attractive or healthy to be a violent person, to seek out violence, to want to hurt people. Like there's one thing desiring to defend yourself and there's one thing wanting to hurt people, whether emotionally, like you can be emotionally violent, the desire to hurt people, the desire to like make people pay for what they did to you, that's really unhealthy. You usually learn to dismantle that in therapy or through philosophy, right? That's why a lot of people learn that in church. Like you even learn that in, in religion. You do not want to seek vengeance. You do not want to be petty. You do not want to do that to people. Interesting. Right. By your logic. Because I think there's a tweet from you saying, if you want to talk some shit about people online, you better get ready to put on the boxing gloves and get in the mat ring. So why aren't you doing that? You mean talking? These are your words. This is your paradigm. How come you don't live by those rules? Because it's not real. It's not real. It's like that fake machismo for views. It's not real. They think we're all, they think everyone's playing the same game on YouTube. That everyone's playing this game of like, you come for me and I'll come for you. But like not everyone's playing that weird, weird, weird like toxic game. And they know if you're the bigger person, you're not going to fight them. Like the bigger person isn't going to fight, right? Now at the same time, Preach did say he's happy to fight because they went for his wife, which I understand. But I do think the bigger person probably wouldn't fight, right? Like, come on. Let's not choose violence for no reason. <clears throat> yes, don't be a Sasuke, bro. Doesn't that make you the biggest coward of all? Taking only fights that you think you can win? <laughs> oh, you want to pull out a gun now? What happened? Here, here's another person rolling up on him in the UK. I, I just come to agree that from across the river. I don't Mayo says this kind of violence sounds like a perverted defense mechanism of, for insecurity. Oh, they they reek of insecurity. They reek. I can smell them through the screen. That's the one thing about Fresh and Fit that's so like offensive. Myron's like a pretty smart dude when it comes to business, but also kind of just like he's insecure, so it gets in the way of business at the same time. But yeah, so yeah, literally so unattractive. Same fishy. Ugh. I don't know you, man. I don't know you. It's all good, bro. Just bounce, bro. Just bounce, bro. I don't know you, bro. Just bounce. Just bounce, bro. Just bounce. Oh, see, that's Justin Waller. Right? Is that Justin Waller? See, Justin Waller got a complicated childhood. I'm going to give him a chance to fucking get his shit together, but probably not because he's old. But also, like, Justin Waller's got an interesting story, but see, he hangs out with trash. Come back over here. That looks like Justin Waller's thighs. Come back over here. When he's gone? When he's gone. When he's That's so embarrassing. <laughs> that's so embarrassing, bro. No, that's so embarrassing. Wait, that's so embarrassing. Are they saying did Myron only start talking shit when the guy went away? No. No. You know what? I, I, I bet I could Why did I you have that same Myron. energy for you? I, I bet I could take him. <laughs> I bet I could take Myron. What is he, like six foot? I could take that. I'm five one. I could definitely take that. Hey, for HS Tiki Taki, the one who wanted to fight you, been calling you, lived in your building. Let's be real. I saw him earlier, yeah, boys. I saw him earlier walking into the hotel with his girl. I, bumped, I was I was looking at him and the won't even look at me. He's a little push. Who is the who is this? Who is this? Who absolutely is this? That guy's a is it Myron? Myron, he looks like a Yo, no, his no, ego's he, mad. He he, no, 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 do you know what? Yeah, you're probably watching this. He goes mad. You're a little. And I'll knock you out any day of the week. You're out red pill this week. You would have got at school. I would. 
Hey, you at school? No. You, you now you want to take off your shirt and fight somebody? Hold, 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 Yo, hold me back. Hold me back, man. Hold it's, me. For, it's a grift, right? It's just for views. There's no way this shit is real. It's a grift. Back. That is that really? Is this grown men? This is embarrassing, bro. We're all embarrassing on the internet. That's like this is a grift, right? This is like a joke. Like, hold me back. Yeah. Hold me back. Yeah, yeah. You're not holding. Hold me back. Hold me back. Yeah. Yo, dude. What are you doing? <laughs> what do you mean? You're supposed to hold me back. But you said you had a problem. My siblings and I do this with each other. Like literally, I'll be like, hold me back. Hold me back. And my siblings will like hold onto my shirt and then let me go. Like we all do that. We play, we role play like the toughness game, which is why I could take Myron. in. I could take him. I I watch a lot of anime, so. Oh, no, you're supposed to hold me back. Okay, my bad. Hold me back. Yo! Ooh. Yo! Ooh. Yeah! Yeah, you tough. Yeah. Okay, you got you so tough. Okay. Hold me back, you man. You're supposed to hold me back. I think you've been working out. I think you handled it. Bro, you looking dumb right now. Bro, my bed's over there. We can just lay down and chill. What the f- Abba's been gayer and gayer every episode. I'm calling it. Abba's been gayer every episode, which I love. A man who's comfortable. The Abba... I knew five or six years ago in content world, or whatever it was, maybe it wasn't that long ago, four years ago, so different than this ABBA now. Look at ABBA comfortably making homosexual jokes. The queers approve. The queers approve. He's becoming more comfortable. We love that. We are we the sports it. team. <laughs> <laughs> we are the sports team. <laughs> We've been struggling together, you know, working hard. Like, let's get in bed hard. Pause. Like, this is a joke because Myron was talking about how like guys get together and straight guys are very gay. Straight men are very gay with each other, but not gay at all. Mm -hmm. like, like, <laughs> like just watch this clown behavior. Just watch it. Watch He's it. gotten hotter too. He has gotten hotter. Absolutely. Ab and Preach have both aged beautifully. Like, but I think we're all hotter. I was not as cute in my 20s. Let me tell you. Alex says, I told you Abba was gay a long time ago. I don't think he's gay, gay. I just think he's more comfortable in himself, which is attractive, by the way. Very attractive. This, this is a joke. I'm, I'm gonna take. Oh, wait. I'm just wearing a bra. I can't take off my sweater. Well, actually, I think I can. Can I wear a bra on stream? I used to do that back in the day. Anyways, that was. That's a joke, right? That's performative. That's not real, right? Like, that's a joke. There's no way a man just took off his sweater. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> You coming back? You come back? Come back! Come back! I'll f you up right now! What's good? What's good? Chill, bro. This is for views, right? Like this is totally for views. Chill, come through. And just think, this guy used to be like a federal agent. <laughs> yeah, man. What a clown! But it's not real. There's no way this is real. Oh. <laughs> like the criteria to be a federal agent gotta be trash. And you know, obviously, not. I don't know. What's funny is these guys always LARP about, oh, women are so emotional. Women are so. Look at this clown. Because men don't think anger is emotion because they're dumb. Can you imagine being a man and not thinking anger is an emotion? What's that emotions movie on Disney Channel? Have you not seen it? Anger is one of the emotions, guys. Clown. He's in a foreign country risking himself to go to jail in the UK, get his visa banned for pretty much all of Europe. For what? A prank, bro. Too. Look at Justin Waller. Be smart. Walk away, Justin. Walk away, Justin. Also a toxic man, but you know, I have, I almost have faith. I almost have a 5% faith. Justin Waller might get the right amount of therapy one day. Myron, come on, bro. Bro, Myron, come on, dude. Shout out to Fresh. Be like, baby, come back. Baby, please. Ba baby. baby, come, come back. back. Stop, daddy. What are you Ooh, doing? Oh, I just did that at the same time. Stop. You don't look cool because you're taking fights you think you can win. It's like, what's his name? Sneeko. Wants to fight five. Wants to fight five foot six Charlie. I'm not calling him small. I'm saying he has no muscles. Yeah. But hit the gym. Andrew Tate preaches getting a better physique. You really body watching right now? You're body shaming. I could 1000% take Sneeko in a fight. There ain't no way this 6'2 model with a pretty face that never been hit is going to take me. Sneeko's been never been hit in the face. He's an underwear model, isn't he? He's a model. I could take Sneeko in a fight for sure, bro. His skinny aunt. I could take that twig of a man in a. Even Charlie just said it, man. I could totally take him in a fight, bro. But you can't fight? Chat, I don't want to... I'm not reacting to a stream. This guy's pissed me off, and you could tell him this. Look, Sneakle got that cheekbone. Got those cheekbones. They never been hit in their life, bro. Sneakle would never survive a fight, bro. I want to meet him in person. Angela Wallace, you got me feeling some type of... This is a joke, obviously. And... 
but it's not a joke that I could take him in a fight. That is not a joke. Hey, bro, I ain't gonna lie. Those glasses, Ooh, this one little bit. I challenge you. You want to box me, bro? Let's do a 1v1 boxing match. You say I belong to the streets. Yeah, I belong. How did nobody take Sneeko up on this? He can't fight. Look at him. To the streets? We could rock this out on the streets or we could do it in the ring, bro. Let's box. You fat lying piece of shit. I would beat the f out of you, Ethan Klein. If you said that about me, you Hey, hey. Don't you touch Papa Bless. I will not let any of you fight Ethan Klein. He's too special. We have to protect him. Like a puppy. Lie to my name to my face. Let's get in the ring. Stop talking shit about me and let's box. And then fight. Um, Lindsay Marie says you also think you can fight a bear and win. I said what I said. Okay, Lindsay. Okay, I could win against a bear. Okay, what does a bear have against my mommy muscles that you can't see because I'm wearing a sweater? Okay? Okay? You leave H3, H3 alone. I'll fight on his behalf. I'll take Sneeko down right now. I'll take him down right now. Finally, when Brandon Buckingham is down to meet Sneeko, he's there to box him. They're both similar. Because it's for show. Because all of this is a grift and it's for show. Because Myron's probably like, Sneeko, Sneeko, pick a fight with Brandon, bro. It'll be so good, man. Pick a fight with Brandon, bro. Do it. Do it. Pick a fight with Brandon. It's good for views. They're not actually going to do it. Just like when Preach said, okay, I'll come fight you. And Fresh and Fit didn't do it. Because it's for show. It's a grift. It's a grift. That's why when people call Myron a, a good guy or whatever, or they speak highly of him, who are you speaking highly of? That says more about your character than Myron's. Myron is not a good person. Don't speak highly of him, okay? At most, he's probably good with business. Maybe. But like grifting in this way, ugh. For sizes? Mind you, this Brandon Buckingham said he wanted to run a train on Sneeko's girl. Hey, super inappropriate, by the way. That is kind of, in my opinion, a grapey comment. You can't talk about running train on someone's girl who like would find that very deplorable. Like if somebody was like, I'm going to run train on your partner. That's kind of fucked up. Don't say that. That's like super fucked up, right? Nico would now rather just sit at home and tell jokes behind his computer. I'd rather just, just I'd rather sit at home and yell at a camera, tell jokes than, you know, risk my manhood falling flat for branding branded buck. So he's saying he would lose? Buckingham, you know, if I lose the So these guys aren't brave. They aren't courageous. They aren't strong. They just want to appear strong to their audience. They want to take fights they think they can win. I've said this from the jump, and I told this to preach. I think this whole fighting shit is. Yeah, I don't like the way Brandon went for Sneeko's girl the same way I don't like Fresh and Fit going for Preach's girl. Like, don't bring people into this. Like, unless they're content creators too, then drag them. Corny. During this whole feud between Ab and Preach and, and Fresh and Fit, where we've been just basically clowning on some of the stuff and the dumb shit that they've said, all you've done is take L's. You've just cost. Wait, that's a great point, Abby. Is he really that good at business, though? If he's acting super crazy on stream and gets demonetized? Good point, good point. And Myron sucks at business. You're right. But at the same time, like, he's good enough, I guess. Like, he's good when it comes to buying properties or smart enough to write a book to his audience. But yeah, why do, why do people act so dumb when it comes to monetization? It's so interesting. Like I said, I've had my whole channel demonetized when I was doing BDSM content. Fair. Um, so it, it happens. But if you're lucky, you get reinstated like I did. It's your business. Millions of dollars. Yeah, you're getting yourself demonetized <laughs> over the dumbest shit. True, true. Abba's right. Abby's right. You guys are both right. Is that how a leader operates? Is that what you want to teach everybody? Hey, guys, watch it. Don't be strategic. Don't be smart. Just say whatever you want. Do whatever you want. And good point. Very good point. Lose a bunch of money. Wow. That's great <laughs> financial advice. That's a great example to set. You guys are grown people with networks in the millions talking about putting on gloves to settle your issues. Like it settles anything. What example are you setting for people? All your followers are going to get in boxing rings with people they have disputes with too? Just stop it. Uh, but you can carry on yelling. You can say I'm scared. You can say I'm like, it doesn't bother me. Imagine trying to appeal to a bunch of strangers and be like, nah, I'm a brave man. I need y'all to know. So I'm gonna get... When you fight somebody at the drop of the dime because they said some words to you, so like, let's say they call you a coward, they call you a they say they want a box or whatever, you're essentially giving them control over your mental state and your actions. Like, today it's these guys. What happens when the next person says something about my family? I gotta go fight them too? Yeah. What about the next person that has an issue with them? Exactly. Abba, a priest bringer. See how I said? There's a difference between true self-defense and there's a difference between being a violent person that seeks out violence. And I got to go ends. fight them too. Like it becomes a never ending <laughs> cycle. These kinds of things. I'm not saying don't defend your family. Somebody puts hands on your people. That's a sure. different thing. But you got to understand, like, there's not a shortage of people who are going to say crazy things online. Right. Are you going to constantly react to everybody in the way they want? It's not because somebody calls you something that you then have to go and immediately start getting. It's not a reasonable way to handle yourself online. What do you want to say? Absolutely agree. Um, 
Well, first and foremost, I never challenged them. I accepted. It's different. They challenged me. And when I accepted, there was nothing on the line. We try to contact you. Nothing. Duds. I said both of y'all. Both of y'all. The one that initially said it and you. And for some reason, now all of a sudden, you want to take him. The D&D &D boy. Don't come for my nerds. It's me you targeted. Does ABBA get more and more wholesome with time? Yes. I love to see it, too. It's so nice to see it. ABBA, his content's been so good lately. His takes have been so good lately. <laughs> Not that I agree with, like, a thousand, thousand percent. But, you know, the vibes. The vibes are more wholesome, more loving, more caring. You know, putting a foot down when he thinks, like, people have been wrong. Like, I really, I really like that. Well, all of a sudden, you don't have a problem with me when I initially accepted. You see how fucking weird that is? Not corny that is? And he thinks it's corny because he, you even you even called you even call me out on on cam. Uh, I, I told you offline. You told me yeah. We were I, filming I, and you told me offline and yes, yes. And you're you're right. But, wow. but just just on that point, the thing I said was like, listen, it's not my place to tell somebody how they want to defend their family or their wife. So that's your thing. Me personally, I just don't like it when I see grown men talking about they want to fight to settle disputes. But I'm it's not my place to tell you. So you're your own person. So I understand I like, what you're saying, but you, you you also said that it was corny. You said that to me too, and it's it is and it's fine. And I and I agreed. That's not my point. I didn't think it was corny initially. But I said, what, I said it was no, corny not, a year after. Yeah, yeah. You know, year, like a year yes, after yes, when yes, niggas yes, are still yes. talking about yeah. it. It's like if y'all not gonna fight at the beginning, yeah. just stop bringing it up. A hundred percent. A hundred percent. A hundred percent. Yes, you're right. No, no, but you but you're right. But you're right. It was a year after to put the the proper context. Yeah. Absolutely. It was a year after. Yeah. But you initially, you you and your partner actually did that. You called me out. It's with me that you had a problem. Mm -hmm. cool. And they bailed. He never wanted to do it. He's like, even when I brought it up, he didn't even know what was going on. You can watch the video again. You're like, wait, what? What's going on? What? <laughs> yeah, I remember that. Wait, wait, what? I was like, yeah. If y'all want to talk shit. Okay, says facts. Abba finding is finding peace and joy with the life with life and it's nice to see it's so nice to see it's really great i love that in people i'm back in the studio we'll talk about it mm -hmm. or we could box about it too because mm -hmm. i'm in the gym now you feel me i'm feeling feeling nice right now bro, I'm why, right why, now. Why, preach, bro. <laughs> <laughs> that's why that's why it's a boxer preach bro you know what come back to, to miami let's box it out talk it out to <laughs> how about that <laughs> and, right here, though, and, and later on in the video you're saying that you want to box with me oh is this a year ago what is that two years ago when did that happen? Look how young they look. Sort of happened that I'm going to be in the U.S. next week. You want to fucking do this shit? Let's go. Both of you. I'll be in the U.S. Look at, next look at fucking Abba. Hold up. <laughs> Hold up. I'll... Look at Abba. He's like. <laughs> Let's go. We'll put gloves on. <laughs> Why is this so funny? He's like, wait, look at Abba's face. You want to fucking do this shit? Let's go. Both of you. I'll be in the U.S. next fucking week. Hold up, hold up. I'll, let's go. We'll put gloves on. Because not only this, that's why I have a problem. Now oh, you talk God. shit about my wife. This nigga <coughs> preaches married prior to a fucking beluga whale somewhere. And now niggas talking shit. And you talk shit about my country. Oh. Old said that he was about to send me on a boat to my country, to Haiti. Yeah? Cool. Next week, I'll be in, I'll be in the States. I'll drop by your fucking studios. You know where it is? Give me the address. I'll be right there. We'll put gloves on. It'll be legal. I know Florida lies. I take one bitch, then I take the other one. Listen, I'm not here to have people fight and advocate, but preach, you your own man. I was the one that was willing. I was the one that was, you know. Ooh, see, I love Ab and Preach. This is really good accountability and also like self-awareness. Like this is them being consistent with values, saying what they did and Preach saying I was the one who was going to do it. And then, you know what I mean? Like this is good displays, good displays. Let's go. And when we contact you, you said nothing. You know, the partner as well didn't respond. Saw the messages, didn't respond. Both of you. And now you're going to switch it to Abba? That's fine. That's cool. That's what we know that you don't want none of that. In the video, you said, I don't really do so much have a problem with preach. And then you call other people coward. <laughs> My boy. My boy. Because that's what you is, a boy. Sit down. Sit that one down. Also, think about this. Think about this. Um, <laughs> that being said, <laughs> there's, there's a way that 
you can get with a sugar bag. Right? Like, so, and I'll say this, I, I personally, I, like, this is just my take on it. Like, black men and their egos when it comes to online stuff is especially pompous. Like, uh, the amount of time I see black creators talking about, I'm gonna box you, I'm gonna catch you in the streets. And I'm like, bro, you got like 500,000 subscribers. Like, what are you doing? You're gonna catch a case and risk your whole, you're gonna stop the money that comes to your family to do what? And I'm not saying it's pride, bro. It's just like certain bubbles have so much pride. I don't know if it's like, it's just like a specific bubble of black male creators, obviously, like the alpha sphere, probably. But um, it's just like the arrogant bubbles. It's like the there's a sphere of content creators um, who just like fight with their egos. It's all about ego, which is I get it. They fight with words. They fight by ruining your reputation. They lie about you or they fight you physically. So there are some men who just lie about you because that's easier. Men who fight you because that's easier or men who do both. Women do it too. They go for reputation. But yeah, it's just like, I think in the moment, um, Green Bean says, do you think maybe Preach said that because he knew they were pussies? I think Preach would have honored it. I I'm sure Preach had some inkling that they were going to bail from the fight. But I also think Preach would have went through with it. And frankly, I think we all would have put money on Preach. Preach is a big guy. He's not a fat guy. He's a muscle guy. Like, Preach is in shape. Um, so Preach has a body. It's mobile. He's good on cardio. He dances. Like, Preach, I think we all would have put money on Preach, honestly, to win against Fresh or Fit. I'm pretty sure I could fight Fresh and Fit. So I feel like if I could win against them, obviously. But I think it's really something he thought in the moment, like, he could do. So he felt pretty confident about it. But now looking back, like, I'm still confident in Preach, but it would still be better if he doesn't. <gasps> he does martial arts? Well, there you go. I didn't even know he did martial arts. Well, I think that kind of rings a bell. So, yeah. I just think that Preach had the right to be confident and made the – he oh, he said yes to the invitation. And then they stopped messaging. And that's the problem is like, you know, red flag. People go for your reputation with lies. People who want to fight you but don't want to fight you. It's like the it's, – it's a very specific genre. Now, Logan Paul and – What's his brother's name? Jake. Jake Paul. <clears throat> Logan and Jake. I think they want to fight for the money and they stay in shape to do it. But I think even uh, even uh, Logan's going to kind of get old. He's going to remember how much it impacts his body and probably stop doing it in the long run. But I don't know. <clears throat> I think these guys asking for a boxing match or whatever is the exact same thing. What I'm trying to say is you're in I heard Abba likes to lurk in this chat. Careful. Challenging him to a fight. I could take Abba in a fight. Are you going to be the man of your house with that kind of attitude? Are you going to be able to take care and provide for your family because you're out here challenging people to boxing matches? Do you think that looks good to employers when you're talking to people and you're like, yeah, I challenge these people to fights? Like, it's clown behavior. I think we already went over the fact that like, when uh, Discord says that was such nerd shit. Abba's a nerd. Abba is a nerd. That's why him and I get along, bro. We're nerds. I like that about him. In Miami, Abba spent time talking about D&D &D with me. Not that I know anything about D&D. &D, it's just like everyone I know plays D&D. &D. <clears throat> I thought that was so charming. I think that's why I like Abba. He's nice. He cares about kids. He cares about family. He's got good values. Um, he's a nerd. I feel like I can trust him like in a way because he's, you know, I don't know. I feel like he takes away the right lessons when he watches anime. You know, you feel me? Yeah. Him and I would be like, maybe maybe we're like a Luffy and a Zoro or like a Sanji and a Zoro. Maybe, maybe it's like, we have a rivalry that pushes each other to be better. You know? <clears throat> but yeah, I could still take all of y'all in a fight. Everybody. There ain't one person on the internet I couldn't beat in a fight. Not one. Not one. Never do that on, in the streets. <clears throat> that was never the purpose. That was never the point that that was to happen. But even not, if I see you in the show, I'm not going to do that. No. We're about to do it the proper way, legal way, but you didn't want that. So, yo. But even doing it the legal way, what does it settle? It's, it settles, what, what, what it it settles settle? nothing. It settles nothing. It settles nothing. I got, yeah, and I'm, I'm going to tell you right now, it's really just ego. It's, it's really, 100% it's really, that. And I'm not saying that you just had, you only have ego. Yes, you do. But it was me too. On my side, it was ego too. Go ahead. What do you mean? Oh, me, yeah, me responding to that was ego. It was 100% ego. I love that. So attractive. Listen to Preach. Responding to that was ego. It was 100% ego based see how men can be oh i love these men humility accountability but yeah i love this this is really great this is like a great role model situation but it's also just nice to see oh what a relief i love it i love watching people have accountability say that was ego i was wrong 
I'm not going to repeat the mistake by engaging. Love it. Oh, it was me being heard about different things, about the, uh, the, the different thing in the past and stuff like that. And that just, just brought all that shit back up. Like, you give us an example? Or you don't have to talk about it if you don't want to. But I'm just... No, it's just how I was cheating when I was a kid and how, yeah, how I was cheating when I was a kid, how people used to climb me when I was a kid and stuff mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. It's like, I thought I overcame all that and I, it was finally over. Mm -hmm. And then I have this bitch ass motherfucker doing that shit as well like mm. okay mm. you're gonna get it for everybody mm. you're gonna get it for everybody that's still ego yeah that's still ego there's better ways to act there's better ways to do stuff like that you know what i mean and they said no they knew it's just the switch up is just weird to me i now i remember peaches in therapy right or he's done therapy that's based that is that is so self-aware that's so good i think right peaches in therapy or wasn't therapy i think if i remember i could be wrong um I really, I think that's really, that's it. When you realize you're still living for the child that is you, like your your child self, you got to remember like to live for the healthy version of your child self and not the version of you as a kid who's hurt and wants to hurt other people, you know? I don't know why it switched to you. I'm not, you know why. It's why? because he thinks he can win. And listen, here's the thing. If you've ever been in fights and lost, even if, if you've been insulted in front of people, like especially when your ego is really caught up into it, you replay that moment and then you replay what you would do differently. It's like that Kevin Hart meme where the parent says something to the kid and the kid starts pacing around in his room. Mm. What was that? <laughs> yes. You. Yeah. That's this guy in box. That's why he's been training. Because he has his vision in his head of how he's going to fix the past um, clownage that he's received. <laughs> and it's not just a him thing. Like, you see this with our people all the time. A motherfucker says something on Facebook. They take the insult. They imagine everyone laughing at them. Then they start ramping themselves up. The next time they catch a dude, they pull out a weapon. They do whatever. It's that ego that makes you drive. It drives you crazy. Like, I can't, I can't stomach this shame. Mm -hmm. If I beat this person up, then even if you get that, you get the temper. Trauma's wild, bro. Perry boost you get the dopamine from people calling you a big dude but the truth is you're still the same miserable ass person you were before no I respect you because you're a bitch you're a fucking bitch you're sitting in this chest like well yeah just know what commanders i'm never gonna make it oh now everyone's gonna become better you're a pussy what the fuck is wrong with you you're gonna have the mindset that i have i will not fucking lose these two bitches in canada try to destroy us guess what fucking happens we became even stronger from that shit i'm like a I can say it. You hit me, I live through the battle, and I get stronger after the fact. Now I feel like he's too rich to have that bad of a hair piece. Why does everyone have bad hair pieces? I have had great $20 wigs. I just feel like, why does everyone have a bad wig or bad hair piece? And I don't get it. Like, there are so many good wigs and hair pieces out there. There's so many good ways to do hair. There's so many. I watch male hair piece TikToks. They're amazing. Well, he is too rich to have that bad of a hair piece. I just feel like, what is up with that, bro? I don't get it. I swear, I have had better $20 wigs. Now, we're number one mess podcast in the world. <laughs> That's such a nerd shit. To did he say it? I'm like a fucking saying. <laughs> Yo, did he? He just call himself some kind of DBZ character? Bro. Whatever when I told you about well, that fantasy shit. You shall not, you cannot tell me that that's not fucking nerd. I got in the hyperbolic time chamber and now I'm ready to fight. Somebody hey, 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 hey. Why do you even know what that is? Nerd. Be weaker than me. God, if you're saying, <clears throat> go fight a Yende. He's like, go to Namek, bitch. Go, go hang out with Dende, bitch. That's what a saying with you. That's what a saying with you. <sighs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Go that, be that's... Goku. Go be Vegeta. I, I could literally be both of them. And what happened to Goku? He got beat up a bunch of times. He died a few times. He died. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you he died. Um, but he literally sacrificed his life for his friends. So. A few times. Yeah, but we ain't got no Dragon Balls. Those two True. Clouds tried to destroy us and they fucking fail. I want your opponents to fear you. Have the fear of God. If I ever run into this motherfucker. Does Myron think anyone is afraid of him? Does Myron literally think anybody could ever be afraid of him? Ma'am. Ma'am, that could not be real. Do you think he like jerks off and he's like, make sure they're afraid of you. <laughs> make sure they're afraid of you. Oh, like what? No one's afraid of Myron and certainly no one's afraid of Fresh. People forget Fresh exists. I forget Fresh is alive all the time. I always forget he exists.
or he's gonna beat the shit out of me. That's what I want because you have the fierce tenacity that no one can fucking. Oh, no one. Your voice is breaking, my guy. These, these two oh, in Canada. My guy. They wanted to fight me. Get Canadians. Oh, Make no one let you fear you. <laughs> You're a man. You're the prize. Oh, my God. Welcome to the Krusty Krab. <laughs> you understand? Stop being. See this chat, tell me some dumb shit about, I don't know where I stand, I don't know if I could do it. Yes, you can! Stop being a bitch, man. That's what I want y'all to be, where everyone is scared of you. They cannot stop you, because they know if I get in this motherfucker's way, he's going to run me over, and he's going to destroy me in the process. No one can stop you. That's what I want you guys to have. Man, hearing another grown <sighs> man huff and puff while they say my name is pause. That is mad weird energy. <laughs> I'm gonna breach. <gasps> Yo, what you been doing? I'm gonna keep laughing at you. There's nothing you can really do about it because I think dudes who huff and puff and scream and they're very loud, they're generally the biggest jokes in society. Damn. And the fact that you spend your- That's rip. Okay, <clears throat> if Myron was our brother, what would we do? That's the thing is like, if that was my brother, I think I'd be like, hey, you need to go to church and I'm an atheist. And I'm telling you right now, you need to go to church, baby. You need Jesus. Like, you need to settle the fuck down. You need to go to mosque. You need to do something. You need to fucking pray. You got to meditate. Like, oof. Oof. That's a lot. That's a lot. That's just, like, cringe, bro. Oof. Your whole time on your podcast calling women emotional. Women can't control themselves. Women are not to be. You seem like a liability, my friend. You seem like you can't control your emotions whatsoever. What happened to being stoic to controlling yourself? You can't do it. So again, another one of these alpha male podcasts, these red pill dweebs can't hold the frame that they preach their audiences to. Oof. They just scream and they get upset and they take a lot of L's. Think about this. In the last two years, all these guys have done is cost themselves all the opportunities that they've spent their whole careers building for themselves. Congratulations. You played yourself. And you're probably going to lose way more down the line because you can't control your emotions. So put a timestamp on it. You're going to say, Abba predicted it. Uh, these motherfuckers not going to last much longer. I hope they end up realizing like, yeah, dude, you don't want to be fucking Myron. You know, you don't want to be a person who doesn't have a control, who looks for vengeance, who is petty. You want to be somebody who stoicism is not ignoring your feelings. It's not pushing them down. It's having a healthy relationship with them. It's recognizing them and being wise when it comes to them, right? So don't be like Myron when you can be like Preach or Abba. In my head, in me life while I'm dead, my belly's being fed and I'm okay. I'm just fine, yet all I do is whine, not to you in my mind, cause I know I don't make sense. I've been nothing but blessed, so why's my life a mess? Please tell me, cause I'm sick of thinking, yeah. Sick of reaching out for the truth and living life as a fool. Then